deep in the ocean depths, a strange submarine craft with the bat wing shape of a manta ray glides soundlessly, as if stalking its prey. He is the arch enemy of Aquaman. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Black Manta. What is Aquaman's position now? Our sonar indicates he is coming into scanner range. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1967's Aquaman No. 35, which was expanded upon in 1977's Adventure Comics No. 452, 1992's Aquaman Vol. 4 No. 6, and 2003's Aquaman Vol. 6 No. 8. This frightening underwater menace has been a thorn in Aquaman's side since his earliest adventures. In his first appearance, he was seen after his submarine descended upon the underwater city of Atlantis. When Aquaman investigated the craft, the hero was trapped by its biomagnet and attacked by minions called Manta Men. Attack them, Manta Men! Destroy them! While the hero was kept occupied, Black Manta attached a tube to the dome over Atlantis, using it to release a chemical within the city. With the hazardous chemical seeping through the shield, the citizens of Atlantis began planning an evacuation. However, Aquaman freed himself and helped the city flush all of the contaminated water from the dome, leaving the Atlanteans to begin to suffocate without water. To counteract this, the citizens were given a serum known as Project X, which allowed them to breathe air outside of water. During the crisis, Black Manta managed to kidnap Aquaman's son, Aqua Baby, and hold him for ransom aboard his ship. With Black Manta demanding Aquaman's full surrender in exchange, the hero decided to give himself up rather than risk his son's safety. <laughs> you are finished, Aquaman! The seven seas are now mine to plunder! However, before he could act, the hero's evil but then amnesiac brother Ocean Master saved the child and used his own ship to take on Black Manta. Following the ship battle, both vessels were severely damaged, giving Aquaman the opening he needed to take on his new enemy. However, Ocean Master jumped in once again, giving Aquaman the opportunity to reclaim his son and swim to safety. Later returning for a greater confrontation, Aquaman's mysterious foe, who was hell-bent on dominating the seas, finally revealed his true identity. This occurred when Manta captured both the hero and his sidekick, Aqualad. It was at this point that Black Manta revealed that he wasn't just a surface dweller aiming to rule the ocean, but that he was aiming to make it a home for his people. By this, he literally meant black people, pointing out that his villainous identity wasn't just a clever name. He also confessed that he was not driven by racism, profit, or prejudice, but by the desire to give his people a place where they could be the masters. That's right, Black Manta was a civil rights supervillain. Afterwards, Black Manta killed Aquaman's son, leaving the hero yearning for revenge. Following this event, and Aquaman's wife leaving him as a result, the underwater hero's quest for vengeance led him to hunt his enemy down. With Aquaman blinded by pure hatred, he fought his way aboard Black Manta's submarine, and the two fought bitterly, with Manta narrowly escaping and Aquaman almost dying in the process. Stand back, Aquaman! Stand back or I'll fuel what, Black Manta? Let's see how you fight without your fancy weapon! In 2003, after several more decades of struggles, Black Manta's childhood was eventually revealed. As it turned out, the underwater supervillain with unlimited resources and deadly gadgets was once an autistic child. Only able to feel pleasure in cold water, he spent the rest of his time confined to a bed. However, this changed when he was given an experimental treatment at Arkham Asylum. While it did cure Manta of his autism, it made him murderous and super strong. When his autism eventually returned, it was Aquaman who showed him mercy and used his powers to cure him once again. Despite this kind act, Black Manta continued his campaign against him, continuing to force the hero to remain pure rather than lose himself to vengeance. A menace instantly recognizable for his black scuba suit and bug-like helmet capable of firing laser beams, Black Manta continues to appear in various media. He has appeared on the Aquaman cartoon series and has even appeared on the show Justice League Unlimited. However, his name was there changed to Devil Ray due to copyright issues. Are you a fan of this underwater menace? For more informative comic book origins published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Can't see him, Aquaman. He's gone. Don't be too sure, Squirt. I've got a hunch we'll be meeting Black Manta again.